A protest turns into a shouting match outside Warren City Hall after more audio is leaked, filled with offensive comments allegedly by the city's mayor. Tonight, Jim Fouts remains defiant, saying the recordings are fake. But as Fox News' Andy Lang shows us, the pressure is mounting, and as some state and local leaders say, it's time for him to go. Protesters gather outside Warren City Hall, calling for the resignation of Mayor Jim Fouts after more demeaning and racist recordings are released. You know, blacks do look like chimpanzees. I was <laughs> watching this black woman with her daughter, and they look like two chimps. Think I want to date a 60 year old man? That I don't, I'm not interested in any old ugly thing. I think after a certain age, they're all dried up, washed up, burned out. They're when they're young and when they get older, just mean, hateful, dried up old. All this coming just a month after the recordings allegedly of the mayor disparaging the disabled. This man is sick and he does not need to be in the office of a public servant. Period. We've heard enough. It's time for this mayor to resign. This man, Joe Cochran, worked in Warren's communication department and worked closely with Mayor Fouts for years. I heard him say disparaging things about elderly lady and he's got to have the younger woman, those kinds of things. And he'd always say to me, are the mics down? We're not being recorded right now. So this all ties together if you connect the dots. Always paranoid that it was being recorded. And then there's this, an analysis of the audio recordings from Ed Primo of Primo Forensics. The first set of recordings that were brought to me a little over a month ago had enough content to where I could do some biometric measurement on the voice and, and present some science in addition to my opinion that they were indeed the voice of Mayor Fox. The recordings that surfaced yesterday are too short, but subjectively, based on the amount of listening that I've done so far, it sure sounds like Mayor Fox's voice to me. It's enough to prompt several Macomb County politicians to issue this letter calling for Mayor Fouts to resign. We found his comments hateful. Uh, we found uh, them racist, and disparaging of women. That's U.S. Congressman Sandra Levin. We felt uh, we should very much ask him to resign, and that's what we've done. We asked to speak to the mayor, but we were told he was in a meeting, a mayor who still has his supporters, who say the voice on those recordings isn't his. I just met with the mayor. I had an hour meeting with him. It's digitally altered. Mayor Fouts took to Facebook to say he will not resign. A spokesperson for Governor Rick Snyder telling me the governor has not yet received any requests that he remove the mayor from office. In Warren, I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.